So you want to connect to Google's SMTP server using your Python application. Normally, this worked really well, and it did until May 30th, 2022, in which case Google decided to make things difficult for us by disabling the less secure app setting. <coughs> Instead of using that, you could actually use an app's password, and this works just fine if it's a single user application that you, the developer, control, because you should not be asking a user of your application to give you an app's password. That's my personal opinion. So what else could you use? Well, you could use the Gmail API and this will work just fine. But what if you don't want to use the Gmail API? Well, you can use the SMTP server using XOAuth2. Now, unfortunately, Google has not decided to give us any documentation on how to do this, but let's watch it run. It authorizes the app just like you normally would, and it runs, no problem. We have an access token. So let's see how this code actually works. We're gonna add a lot of the standard imports that will allow us to authorize this. I'm using the Google APIS Python client library to do this. And technically, you can just do what I did, which is grab the standard quick start code for any of their OAuth samples and then just use that with the proper scope. In this case, we're going to be using the mail scope. Now, you need a few things. We're going to create our token JSON, which will store the credentials from the user once it's authorized. Then we're gonna need the credentials JSON file, which is created on Google Developer Console. Now, our code is going to have to check whether or not this token JSON exists already. If it does exist, then the simple thing to do is we just load it and within it, there will be a refresh token that we can use to request a new access token. So here we go, we just refresh it and then we know whether or not our access token is valid. So now if we don't already have a token JSON file created, then we will request authorization of the user. This is the code that will actually pop up the consent screen. So once the user has authorized our access, then we can store that file in, well, we can store that into the token JSON file so that we can use it again next time. So after a bit of cleanup with Python tabbing, the format for sending the access token over to the SMTP server is slightly different than what you normally would expect. First you send the username, that being the user's email address, then you add the bearer token, the access token. Then the whole thing has to be base64 encoded. Now let's create an actual send mail function. This function just takes the host, the port, the subject, the message, and the sender and the recipients. Now remember, recipients can be more than one person. So you can send more than one person with this. We grab the access token from the get token method. We convert it over to our base64 string. Then we go ahead and create our simple mime message object. And then we can send it over to the server. Notice how the docsmd method um, parameter is the one that we use to actually send the, the uh, access token over. And then we simply create our main method which goes ahead and defines everything. You have a to message or a to email and a from email and then we have the subject, create a simple message. Now again, you can use this with attachments if you wanna send attachments, that word will work just fine. And you can send more rich messages as well, just like you can normally with the SMT server. The only difference here is the authorization method that we're using. And that's it. We can go ahead and run it now and see what happens. There we go, it's going to request authorization. 
and I'll go ahead and approve it and there's my email. It's that simple.